Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Enter the Modded Gungeon. We're jumping in and today I have limited time to record. So do you know what that means? We're playing the shade because it means that I'm gonna die early. No, I'm um, I don't have super limited time to be honest. I pretty much have unlimited time, but I've left my recordings a lot later than I otherwise would. And honestly, I i haven't played Shade in a while. I'm kind of feeling him. This is essentially the Lost from The Binding of Isaac, for those of you who haven't seen this guy before. I'm sure many of you have. He starts with some good stuff, like the ability to steal from shops. I think he has a shop discount as well. Um, we get poison shots right off the bat there from the um, bullet modifier chest. Uh, and uh, yeah, a few other bits and bobs. This guy has some good stuff. Of course, like flight and stuff. So... It's, uh, it's going to be nice to play, man. Also, we did get some updates recently, too. I like that sort of stuff. I like that sort of stuff. So we'll just see how, lo how long we can live. I have beaten this guy a few times before. I think I've beaten the Lich and stuff as him, but it, it ain't easy. It ain't easy. He is definitely a character for uh, people that have played this game for a while. And I'm sure we'll have some really early deaths here and there. I'm going to hope. Basically, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed this with my content before. And not to say that I phone it in sometimes, but I always like to make sure my, my videos are at least 20 minutes in length. So if I die before 20 minutes, I'll run it back. But if I make it past 20 minutes, then um, then we'll keep on going. And I kind of do the same thing for like Nuclear Throne, which is a game where you die a lot more and stuff. Um, and I kind of did that with the Hard Mode series as well. For any of you that haven't seen the Hard Mode series, by the way, it will return at some point, I'm sure, but if you haven't seen it, go and check it out. There's a, a mod for this game that adds a bunch of hard enemy patterns and boss patterns. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's so unbelievably difficult. I mean, like, I've I've won on that mod, like, like six times, ever. <laughs> and I've died on it about 400 times, so it is a brutally difficult mod, but it's really fun. Uh, unfortunately, it isn't actually officially released. The developer... Kind of went MIA. They just kind of disappeared from the internet. Um, they just need like a sanity break, I'm guessing. And they just kind of haven't returned yet. And the mod's still uh, still not released. So, don't know if that's ever going to actually happen. I guess we'll see. Because uh, this, this card has some cool stuff, like the ability to... Oh, full metal jacket. Wait, it's free. It's free. Okay, we'll be living significantly longer. Um, so, I I was told that there was some interaction between the Shade and that dude there um, by Nevernamed. He said that he added some some cool stuff to make this character not feel as depressing. I was going to try and buy it and it was going to it's gonna say no, so I was going to attempt to steal it. But it let me take it anyways. Full Metal Jacket is as close as you can get to perfect with this character. Um, it's It's very, very good. It's going to give us much, much higher chance of staying alive. So that 20 minute spiel that I was just giving you all there, that's a crock of shit now. Because I will, I'm not saying I'll definitely live longer than that. But if I play my cards right, I should. Um, as long as I buy blanks when I see them and stuff, which I probably should actually go and check if I can do. Um, we'll open this regardless. We got whatever this is. Uh, fused amulet. Interesting. Turns blanks into bombs which erase, uh, which explode and erase all bullets in the room. The bombs will not... Now, I have literally no idea how this works with Full Metal Jacket. One of two things is going to happen. Either it's not going to work and we're going to die instantly. Or it's going to work and it's going to be a really cool synergy. My bets are currently on it won't work. <laughs> My bets are currently on it. It probably won't work and it's going to be disastrous. Um, so, I guess let's try and not get hit and find out. But I'm hoping it just means that we can still get hit with Full Metal Jacket. It'll just instead drop a bomb rather than doing the blank effect. Which, I honestly don't know how that's going to go. I don't really like being over here. Having Corrosive shot here is really nice. I keep wanting to say Corrodo because um, one of the guys I watch on YouTube uh, that plays uh, Borderlands, Jolt's dude, um... He always calls Corrosive Corrodo for some reason, and it's just stuck in my mind now. I just always want to call it Corrodo. I want to try and not use blanks if I can, especially when I'm over two, because that means I can keep them for the next floor, which for me is uh, pretty much a necessity. Ooh, I do not know how this will work. I do not know how this will work. One second. 
Boom, boom, bow. Let's carry on. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to go down. Because we do we do have a master round. So uh, I'm guessing we can still trade it. Don't these guys fire undodgeable shots or something? I've heard. Bit scary. Um, what's this? Nothing. Okay, um, we've got contract obligation. See, we have chaotic shift, but we only have two guns, so it's not very good. Let's just take contract obligation and get a little buddy. It works. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and we are indeed going to have to just go to the normal floor, because I don't have enough keys. I kind of forgot about that. I was going to go to the forest, but I don't have the keys for that anymore. I, I would have liked to have taken chaotic shift. That would have been a good idea. But... Unfortunately, I do not have the resources. But yeah, okay, so we have four blanks now because we've got a, a, an amulet. I am intrigued. I am intrigued, most certainly. Uh, also, as you can see, he has piercing too, which is pretty huge. Also, the, the, the little dude that we just got with us, he's actually very, very strong. Honestly, piercing here is awesome. This is so good. Just remember that we can steal as well. I always forget as this character that we can steal when we need to. Beautiful and Lead Maiden. Yep. So this should be a pretty quick kill. Get out of the room before they have a chance to come for me. The little wispy boys are here. Are they, yeah, we can't be set on fire. I didn't think so. Oh, he has Corrosive too. That's amazing. Um, Flare Gun isn't really going to cut it for us, I wouldn't say. In fact, I'd say that definitely won't cut it for us. It does mean we'll get to save a bit more money for the future floors, though. Ooh, that guy. That guy shot straight away as soon as I came into the room. I'm going to be playing a bit fast and loose, nonetheless. As I said, I, I, wasn't, I was kind of planning on shit, playing shit because I knew I'd die early. And now this run's kind of a run that I feel could actually go the distance. So I'm like, eh, I might, might just play a little fast and loose here and hope for the best. Is that another amulet? What the hell? What's this? This isn't an, an amulet. It's a... Cigarette gives a little coolness every time a blank is used. Ooh. That's cool. Wait. It used more than one blank, though? What up, witches? Um. They're going to throw this into the wall, aren't they? Oh, no. No, it's good. I got it. Death to Bearshaw. I don't know what this is, but I'm intrigued. Give it a go, I guess. Give it a go. But yeah, unfortunately, we used two blanks when we used a blank there. I'm not sure if that was intentional or if I double tapped it or something. Does it drag enemies back? Does it drag? I think it drags enemies towards me, which means it's it's quite literally unusable. Oh, yeah, it does. It's unusable. <laughs> As this character, in no way know how I'm using that gun. Seems like a cool concept. No, 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 though. Not as the shade. As this character, no, no, no. It cannot be done. We did get a shrine here as well. Always forget what you do. Prove your devotion to the hunt. Uh, doesn't, I think this, I can't remember if that gives us a random weapon or takes the weapon out of our hand. I think it takes the weapon out of our hand, so ideally we'd uh, get another gun first. Which, honestly, if worse comes to worse, I'd buy the flare gun and use that. I'd rather not, but we could. Did I actually buy the key in the shop? I can't remember. I did not buy that first. Oh my god, look at the amount of rooms I have to go without bloody any checkpoints. Oh god, that was close. Stop shooting those, you fool. Stop trying to fall into the pit. Definitely a mimic, nice. That saves us A key at least. 
And I guess the smileys. It's not bad, it's not bad. Kinda want something a little better. And I have to go all the way back through all of these rooms. Remember when I was like, I want to be speedy? And then I have to backtrack through like five rooms because none of these have teleporters. Big sad. God damn, what the hell? How why is there so many rooms without a single teleporter? Another one without a teleporter. That's just evil. Right, um. Do I wanna give you smileys? It's not really a great- I kind of think I should give you the flare gun. Just because it's like, the flare gun's not great, but at least you can set things on fire for us. I think that's kind of like a better use case. And then just keep smileys for myself. I'd, I'd rather do it with something a little more interesting. I might even just die using this because it does say lose HP, but I have to try it. Okay, it did work. Oh, it just gave me a random gun. Okay, I was wrong anyways. It gave me the force of nature. Actually a pretty good gun to get for this. Uh, it's just a little shotgun that's going to shoot. Oh, wait. Oh, is it the Wastelanders? It might be the, might be the Wastelanders shotgun, which is intriguing. Because the way the ammo works in that gun isn't normal. So it might end up... Holy shit. That is nuts. Um, Was not expecting that, I've got to say. I don't know why every single shot is now poison. And I was not expecting the shotgun to fire quite so many shots. Oh my god. We get a med kit here, which gives us a synergy with the flare gun, so not all bad. Actually makes the flare gun pretty good, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it does. Um, and then we've got Unbreakable Spirit. That's a revive. Okay. This is, this is, this run's got some sauce. This run's got some sauce. With the flare gun too, I think a reload triggers our spinning gun firing. So it's like, you know what? This could, this could combo into something quite delicious. And we've got Full Metal Jacket too, just in case the thingy doesn't work. Yeah. This is pretty strong. <laughs> and whatever this is. I think with piercings is even better. Oh my god. I don't know what is going on with the shotgun. I also don't know why I'm all of a sudden... Um, I don't know why I'm all of a sudden firing all poison shots. My The only thing I can think is my coolness went up a lot. But I don't even know if coolness affects... The, the, the chances for those firing. I don't actually know. It, it probably doesn't. I'm probably just silly. Also, this thing's pretty ammo efficient too, which is rather nice. Hello, sir. Am I okay to cheat at your game? Thank you. Oh my god. The shotgun worked too. There's a black chest for us. There's infinite keys for us. Beautiful. Okay, this is quite the run. Quite the run indeed. Wasn't expecting to have such a, a lucrative shared run today, I have to say. I was like, do you know what? I'll just pop on, have a chill little run. It'll be fine. And the game was like, no. No, you will not, sir. There will be no chill runs on this day. Flash ray, not really my tang. Although additional blanks are definitely my tang. Yeah, boss room. I don't know what he's jamming right now. Oh, doesn't matter, he's dead. Yeah, you can see this I think the emergency help, I can't remember exactly what it does, but I know it like uber powers the flare gun. It like makes its reload really fast and it makes its, um, it makes its reload really fast. It deals more damage. I think it does green fire instead now. It does a lot, but you have to be, you have to hold the medkit. You can't use it. If you use the medkit, it stops working. We got just the thing for you, frog. Frog. 
No synergy. But blank personality. Or blank stare, should I say? I don't, do you know? I bought that key a moment ago, didn't I? Why? You may be wondering why. It's because I'm an idiot. Plain and simple. I am a goober. Oh, what the hell? I'm very confused by what enemies were remaining there. Oh, there's little rock buddies here, look. Little tiny rock fellas. There's just you left. And one last chest, I think. By the way, I tend to rarely use this guy's active. I realise it's probably a resource that I should take more care and attention to actually utilise. But I never do. Also, enemies seem to be randomly exploding sometimes. Not quite sure what that's about. The hell's this? Neon bullets. Oh, is this when they're wet? That's a really cool little... Yeah, this is cool. Um, bullets mini crit when hitting wet enemies. Yeah, I like that. Kick the sign. Right, let's go. What boss do we have? Remember, I don't think I need to actually use my blanks. I do have full metal jacket. I don't think it'll... I don't know if it'll work the way I want it to, but I'm hoping it does. I mean, hopefully I won't even need to, to find out, but I'm sure I will at some point. There you go. This... This flame... This air flag on sorry is so good. Sorry, matchsticks. Can't take you. Yeah, look, that enemy just, like, exploded randomly. No idea what caused that. I don't know what greed does. I always forget. I'm just going to take all-seeing eye. Shows me where the secret rooms are on future floors. I like that enough. All right, let's go. This run has some sauce. It has some sauce. We have quite a lot of flanks. Quite a lot. Kind of an evil room right here, right? <clears throat> Come at me, boy. Okay, don't telefrag me, you stupid. This thing can telefrag. Gotta be careful. I need more ammo for this thing. My, my bloody assassin keeps scaring the shit out of me. I just see a bulletkin behind me and I'm like, oh fuck. Yes, ammo. This is my power weapon. <laughs> I like the look of this little thing. <laughs> That's a cool little assault rifle there. I like it. Oh, I think it's the flare gun that's making all of our bullets poison. Because, like, if we swap weapon look and reload, only some bullets are poison. When we've got the flare gun out, all bullets are poison. I'm not exactly sure why that is. Look like at that. That guy just explodes straight away as soon as we walk in the room. Yeah, I don't know exactly why that is, but it's very nice. Because it, it affects our buddy, too. And it's like poison damage isn't insane, but it's good. I'm gonna use this for now because it's small, weak enemies. Oh wait, they're all there. Doesn't matter. Beautiful, so magical, wonderful. God damn, my assassin. He's doing such a good job. He just stays on his own turf and, like, kills everything near there. And then my shotgun's doing the best thing ever as well. Look at him go. 
more keys. Mini boss here too. This this mini boss should die very quickly. I'm not very ready for this guy, I'll be honest. I haven't fought him in a while. We do have mini boss HP bars now though, so we can see how quickly we're wrecking him, which is very. I think I did actually trigger a blank there. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Ooh, Shade's eye's been unlocked. Oh, I think Shade's eyes. I must have been hit because I think Shade uh, Shade's eye is for surviving a hit as the Shade, which I think um, Full Metal Jacket is the only way to do. So yeah, I think Full Metal Jacket is working as intended. I don't even know how the shade would work with the uh, the shop on the beyond. Hey, enemies wet, so I get mini crits. I'm a bit annoyed though, because I've been I've gone all this way this far without being hit, and now I've finally been hit. I mean, I didn't I didn't actually get hit, but I I did. <laughs> or should I say, I did actually get hit, but I didn't technically get hit. <laughs> Need something that reliably can wet enemies. Enemies are standing in water or something. Beautiful. What's next, please? It's a room that would otherwise be very annoying, but it's actually fine for us. Hey! <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, increased damage for each carried blank. I think it's 5% per blank as well. And we have just a few. <laughs> That's quite a, quite a gigantuan damage increase for us there. Right. Let's keep on trucking. It's boss time. I can't fuck. There's too much fire particles. I can't see anything. I did pre blank them. There probably wasn't any need, though. Probably lost some damage for no reason. They're getting one of these every single floor right now. I'm guessing they may be guaranteed when you flawless. Um, yeah, let's grab another one of these dudes. <laughs> He's been doing pretty well so far. Right, away we go. Away we go. This is, uh, this has become a run that's quite unprecedented. I mean, I'm on the fifth floor in 23 minutes, so speed-wise, actually going pretty well. Just speedrunning the shade, you know. Curse of Sludge luckily doesn't bother me at all. It's just a bunch of crap on the floor that's visual only, essentially. Did I get hit there? No, I don't think I did. Oh, my beautiful... Oh, wait. Curse of Sludge is actually great, because then, then enemies actually count as being wet, which means that we deal extra damage to them. Yeah, there you go. Look. Get those mini crits. The only problem right now, the only threat to me getting hit... It's really just the visual clutter of everything on screen, the particle effects and stuff are quite gnarly. I would definitely like more ammo for my flare gun, please. I think I can live without this baby.
Beautiful. I could even buy ration if I wanted to. I don't remember how this guy works. I think he hit me once. Go with the frogs. I just know that they reload quick. I think I did get hit once there. I'm not sure. Thank you, game. This chest was very useful. I actually did manage to get the item, surprisingly. I mean... Really? I mean, I'll take Super Hot Watch right now because, like... This is actually a character that I do kind of like having it on. I just gotta remember I have it. Remembering you have Super Hot Watch is the is the hardest thing for me. I don't know. I, I even when it's useful to me, I do still kind of hate it. I'm gonna get rid of it. It's like it's it's kind of good. It's definitely good for new players, but for me, it just slows everything down. If you want to utilize it to like the 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 full advantage of what it can do for you. You've got to play it really slow, and I don't like doing that. No thank you, Mr. Hammer. Mr. Hammer Jammer. I follow the Ash and Shotgunner. Ah, oh, it's this thing. I always forget about that gun. He all glitchy now. With the mini crits, I knew I could kill him fast enough. Lightsaber for care, so I don't actually care about picking that up too much. Aha, mini crits for days, boys. You're just annoying. What hit me then? No idea. Something apparently hit me. It's very confusing having my little dudes. I guess that's why they have the scarves to make sure they're identifiable, but it's still difficult. I still find it tricky. The hammers are here. They show me their fury. In come the crits, baby. More ammo for this bad boy. Yes, let's go. Yeah, let's just do straight for the boss. What else are we going to get that's really going to tip this run over the edge? Oh, you bastard game. I broke the fight. One of the items I had broke the fight. Anyways, it was a foregone conclusion that we were going to beat this. So let's just do test skip level. Is that it? I can never remember what the, what the function is. Test. Skip. Level. There you go. We were, it was a foregone conclusion that that guy was dead. Just, you know it was. <laughs> there was literally no way I was going to lose that guy. And I, I, I'd bet there was a very, very low chance I was actually going to um, gonna get hit on him anyways and lose any blanks. So let's just pretend, shall we? doing it. The full care shade run. Because why the hell not? 
It's a wholeheartedly terrible idea. Don't telefrag me, bitch. I'm warning you, I won't hesitate, bitch. Keep just getting a little bit stuck, I'll be honest. I can't shoot. Don't really know what happened there. I'll tell you, the darkness enveloping me is by far the worst part of this. Glass bell. Ring it carefully. <laughs> Can be used to summon glass one stones will break when the owner is wounded, but will mend itself when going to the next floor. Ooh, another special API. Beautiful, beautiful piece of technology. Special API has been helping me out this run. There is a lot of space where I can't shoot right now. It's very scary. about that too much. Okay, my assassins are doing a good job of keeping enemies at bay. They're also doing a pretty good job of telling me where enemies are. Liberty hell is this. Looks pretty cool. <laughs> but it doesn't really reload that often, which is kind of mo most of my damage here, so flare gun it is. I can't I, I I didn't think I'd see the day where I'd be playing the whole of this with the flare gun. Oh bollocks. Didn't consider the fact I'd be fighting this guy, I'll be honest. Oh, it doesn't matter because he's dead. <laughs> oh well, he was dead. I can't remember what this does, but isn't it insane? Completely cleanses the body and soul. Doesn't it get rid of all curse? And fully heal you and give you a one stone. Gives you two. Oh, also, I haven't been using this. I need to use this more often. We're really careful to stay aware of where enemies are. I haven't found any cleansing shrines yet, which is kind of a big surprise. I genuinely have no idea what's going on right now. Did I kill this enemy over here or not? Apparently. Moon Rock. Whoa! <laughs> what the hell? What does my moon rock do? Oh, uh, that's what's got the orbiting bullets. That's that's the orbiting bullets thing, isn't it? Get out my poison frog for a moment. Flare gun, poison frog. Good, good. Come with me, assassins. Need to wait until I can shoot again. Just let my assassins do it while I can't shoot. They clean up. Ammo. Another chest. Take all the chests. We must have, like, hella luck right now. Poison frog. Flare gun. Okay. 
think we need to go this way up. Looking for the enemies, but I don't see them. Good. good. Okay, this should be our four prong room, right? Oh, no, not quite. Oh my god. The mini crits. They're going crazy. Go after them, assassins. My assassins are the best. They are literally the best. <laughs> That's a lot of shots. Yeah, I guess I didn't think that'd do much. Okay, this should be a four prong room. A three prong at least, for I say. Oh, the moon rocks thing seems to be working on everything. Which I wasn't expecting. You can see all my like shots from my little shotgun that's surrounding me is uh, flinging all over the place. Another blank to add to the damage. Now I just gotta hope I pick the right way. Unfortunately, I have picked one of the worst and longest rooms first. Which is somewhat annoying, but was inevitable, kind of. God damn the lag. I don't know what's dead and what's not. Gotta, yeah, I just gotta hope my, my buddies to do me right. And they are, they are, are standing true. I think I got hit there, but that's fine. I got a blank earlier, so not a huge deal. Oh my god, the crits. The crits. So unfortunately that wasn't the right way. Hope we get right this time. I might start using the frogs for a little bit here. Just to try and su preserve some flare gun ammo. Here it is. I would hope for the best, I guess. I am destroying shots somehow. Oh, I think it's my glass bomb stones. I was like, why the hell am I destroying shots? My glass bomb stones are actually doing a very good job of destroying shots. Because I've got so many of them. It's phase one done. I have to say, I think this is a foregone conclusion. But, I'll, I have to say, as much as obviously I got full metal jacket and should have been dead if I didn't have it, I've only used like four blanks this whole run, maybe five, on getting hit. I've really not, I've really done a pretty good job of not being hit for the most part, I'd say. Especially considering this is a full, a full cursed run on the, uh, on bullet hell. About to run out of ammo on this bad boy. Flare gun's almost out. We got the spinnies. Just create a path for ourselves. Use my glass one so it's to carve a path. And absolutely annihilate. There you go. That's how you win as the shade, baby. That's how you win as the shade. It's easy as that. Simple. Anyways, let's soul unlocked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> easy enough. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Quite a spicy little victory there. 
quite a spicy little victory indeed. I hope you guys enjoyed this absolutely banger of a run. At the start, I was like, do you know what? I'm going to play this guy because I definitely die. Immediately does the best I've ever done. There you go. There you go. It is what it is. <laughs> what a fun run. And I did it pretty much all with the flare gun too. I think, to be fair, one of the biggest helps was the art and the statue that gave us that insane shotgun. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.